Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about solving rational equations. And we're going to solve each equation and remember to check for extraneous solutions. So if I was given this doozy of a problem here, 5x minus 20 over x squared minus 9x plus 18 plus 1 over x minus 6 equals x minus 4 over x squared minus 9x plus 18. Okay. Whew, it's a doozy of a problem. Well, first thing I'm going to think about here is can I factor uh, these out, the x squared minus 9x plus 18? And uh, I believe I can. Okay, what two numbers are add to be negative 9, but uh, multiply to be 18, and that's negative 3 and negative 6. So I'm going to rewrite this to be 5x minus 20 in the numerator, and then x uh, minus 3 here, and then x minus 6. Plus, now I can rewrite this. I'm going to make it the same. I want it the same, have the same base. So I'm going to multiply this by x minus 3 over x minus 3. And then we're left with what's been done. There's a 1 up here. I can write that up 1 through times 1 times x minus 6. What was left there, same base, equals x minus 4 over, factor out that denominator, which is x minus uh, 3, right, which we already did, x minus 3 times x minus 6. Okay, so now that we have the same base, I can combine the two, the numerator and the denominator. So now I have 5x minus 20 plus x minus 3 over the denominator, x minus 3 times x minus 6. And that's equal to x minus 4 over x minus 3 times x minus 6. It's getting crazy here. Well, now I can multiply both sides by that denominator. And what that does is basically eliminate them. So we have x minus 3 times x minus 6 over 1, multiplication, and then x minus 3 times x minus 6 over 1, multiplication. That eliminates this, leaving me, and I can simplify this, 5x plus 6, uh, x is 6x, and negative 20 minus 3 is minus 23, equals x minus 4. Much simpler problem now. So what I need to do now is... Um, Simplify this. Well, let's go subtract an x to both sides and then add a 23 to both sides. And that leaves me with a 5x equals a uh, negative 4 plus 23, which is a 19. And then divide by 5. And we're left with the fraction here. Um, let's go right over, excuse me, over here. x equals 19 over 5. Okay? So I'm going to kind of write it over there. And there we have it. But now I need to check my work. So to check my work, uh, since I don't have space here, I'm going to erase here for a second. So to check it, I'm going to plug 19 fifths in for every single one. Uh, uh, to, it, plug 19 fifths into every single one of my x's. So we have 5 times 19 fifths minus 20 over 19 fifths squared minus 9 times 19 fifths plus 18 plus 1 over 19 fifths minus 6 equals 19 fifths minus 4 over 19 fifths squared minus 9 times 19 fifths plus 18. Okay? So now I'm going to use my calculator. I'm going to simplify basically everything one step, or the numerator here. So 5 times 19 divided by 5, subtracting 20 from that. Uh, so this becomes my, oh my goodness, I can't believe I used my calculator. 5's cancel, give me 19, 19 minus 20 is negative 1. Okay? I just rushed too quickly to the calculator. Denominator, 19 fifths squared minus 9 times 19 fifths plus 18, my fraction, gives me a negative 44 over 25. Plus here, 1 divided by 19 fifths. Insert the parenthesis there. I don't need it. Minus 6 in the denominator comes out to be a fraction here of negative 5 over 11 equals, yeah, uh, equals this here 19 fifths minus 4. The numerator comes out to be. A negative one fifth 
over the denominator, which we already found right here to be negative 44 over 25. So let's go see if we can simplify this. What's this one plus this one? So the negatives cancel out, so it's positive. So we have uh, 1 divided by 44 divided by 25, which is going to be 25 over 44. Yeah, fantastic. Plus negative 5 uh, divided by 11. So find this, and I get a fraction here of 5 over 44. Let's check this one here. Negatives cancel, so we have uh, what's 1 fifth divided by 44 divided by 25. And we have the same fraction, 5 over 44. My left and right hand side were equal, which confirmed that uh, this answer, x equals 19 fifths, is not a strange solution and is my final answer and is a real solution.